going to give you some first impressions of a new uh, e-reader and this is the Sony Reader Pocket Edition, the PRS350 and uh, mine just arrived a few days ago. Uh, it's it's a, quite an improvement in design from the original Sony Pocket, the PRS300 and the first thing you notice right away is the size and uh, if I hold them up here together you'll see that the original is larger, it's thicker, you can see the, the thickness there. The weight of the original is seven ounces, seven and five eighths ounces, I just weighed it on the kitchen scale here, and the weight of the new one is uh, five and three eighths ounces, so it's more than a two ounce trimming of the weight. The screen size is the same, it's a five inch diagonal. Now I'm going to compare the new Sony with the new the Kindle 3, which is the reigning new Kindle, uh, larger you can see because it has a, a keypad, and the Kindle weighs eight and an eighth ounces compared with five and three eighths ounces. So this is a lot uh, lighter, and in the uh, dimensions of it, you can see the the Kindle is is bigger. So this just slips into wherever you're sliding your Kindle. Uh, this Sony Reader slides in even easier. Now the big change in uh, this Sony Reader is it has a touch screen which does not detract as much from the readability as the earlier Sony touch screens. I had a Sony Reader Daily Edition and it just was a murky look to it. This is uh, much better and I'm going to show you now in some comparisons uh, how it looks compared with the Kindle. Showing you now some photos that I took with my Nikon to compare the screens. In my view, the Kindle is pops a little bit more. There's, they're both the Pearl e-ink screens, uh, apparently, so very similar look to them. If you get a little closer, you'll see there's a slightly different color, almost a bluish tinge to the Kindle screen. Uh, I've tried to get the font sizes comparable here, but in the, the real world, the, the Kindle seems to have a slight advantage. Here is the Kindle uh, straight on, and uh, there was a, a big improvement when that new Pearl screen came, and here is the Sony straight on. Now, one, the thing I'm going to show you next is because the Sony touchscreen relies on lowering uh, the screen a little so that the sensors can come along the side, it's much more recessed than the Kindle screen, which I'll show you here. You can see there's a much thinner lip, and in some situations that causes more shadow. The thing that's amazing about the PRS 350 is the touch screen, and it really does provide some advantages in reading experience over the Kindle with its uh, keyboard way of entering information. Now, I'm going to give you a demonstration of this, which I hope you can see here. Uh, to, to look up a word on the Sony, all you have to do is double tap, double tap the word, and the definition shows right up on the bottom of the screen. This is fabulous, and it's easier to look up a word that way than it is on the Kindle, where you have to move the, the cursor up in front of the word, and if the, the word is in the middle of the, the page, then you've got a fair amount of strokes of the cursor control, the five-way controller, to get to the word that you want to see. Same fast appearance of the definition along the bottom, and same dictionary, New Oxford American Dictionary. So once you get to the definition, there's no advantage of one over the other. Uh, highlighting on the Sony is also pretty cool. You can use uh, this thing here, you've got a little stylus, so for an accurate stylus uh, to highlight something you just go to notes and create the note and then at this point you're just dragging over the, uh, the text that you want to highlight and then it's highlighted. You also have the ability to see your highlights, there's a list of them that's a, an advantage over the Nook, where if you highlight something, you just can't see it unless you get to that page. Um, and you can also highlight with your finger. So it's a little tougher to get precision with it, and the stylus is nice. It just 
fits right back in there. The design, uh, the Sony engineers who always are, love a challenge like this, uh, the challenge was, I'm sure, make a touchscreen that doesn't detract so much from the e-ink visibility as the earlier Sony touchscreens. They've I'd say they've gotten 90% there. The Kindle screen is still brighter and easier to read to my eye. Uh, the places that the, the PRS350 fails, I think, as a competitor to the Kindle are, first of all, price. It costs $179 versus $139 for the Wi-Fi version of the Kindle. And then the huge difference, and this is the one that, this is how the Kindle ended up becoming synonymous with eBooks. To get a book on this, you have to connect it to your computer, you have to go to the Sony uh, software, get to the Sony store, download the book, then load it over onto your Sony reader. Now, you know, you wouldn't think that this is, it's not really that tough to do, but compared with sitting somewhere uh, where there's Wi-Fi, to be fair in this comparison, at $139, and, and somebody mentions a book and you, you buy it right here in your Kindle, in 60 seconds. Uh, it's a completely different uh, experience. Kudos to Sony's engineers for coming up with a, a really beautiful product. I mean this thing in your hands and reading uh, once you've got your book on it and you've paid the extra money uh, it's it's sort of like having a, a Porsche in your pocket. It, it's, uh, it, it's really a, a marvelous uh, addition to the to the ebook arena. Uh, I would certainly still prefer the Kindle, and in most cases, I'm going to be happier reading the Kindle. So many other things it does, I can highlight notes and uh, find them on the web at kindle.amazon.com. I can put uh, tweets and Facebook updates. Uh, the, the whole infrastructure that Amazon has over the past uh, nearly three years established for the Kindle makes it you know, if it's not the Porsche, uh, it's it's a really uh, impressive, fully loaded Mercedes Benz. I think this is a, a, a dramatic bit of engineering that probably points the way, but is not a product that I could recommend over the Kindle for all the reasons that I've talked about. But if you like, uh, I am a kind of collector of eBooks. Uh, you'll definitely want to check this one out because uh, it's 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 pretty sweet. Thank you.